Rolling in the Mist is a series with fantasy violence, mentions of gore, and worst of all, cussing. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back, everyone, to another exciting <laughs> session of Rolling in the Mist. I'm your master of ceremonies, Kevin Carpenter, and joining me today is... Bravo, as Logan Herrero. And... Bex playing Kare Vidalis. And... I keep bumping against that mic. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll move it. <laughs> It's you. You're, oh, gonna... I, I, <laughs> you're like looking at the camera. Yeah, I was doing like... a bit and then I fucked up my own bit. <laughs> Pablo, who are you? <laughs> Oh no, now I'm really terrified. Who are you? I'm Pablo Mia, playing John B Marty <laughs> Blanc. <laughs> and uh, you? Terrible. I'm Jason. <laughs> playing? Jason. Uh, <laughs> Look, if you haven't figured out who we're playing at this yeah. point, are you really we're, How many episodes now? <laughs> I believe this enough. is 12, 12 actually, 12. yeah. Because yeah. 10 was when you guys fought the uh, the dragon boat. Yes. 11 was when you guys actually got out of the museum and uh, did your separate things. And so now we're sort of in this like strange situation where last session we ended on a couple of different cliffhangers. Kevin, Kevin but, spoilers, man. Huh? <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, spoiler alert for all the episodes, the episodes that came before did. this episode. Imagine, imagine this is their first. This is where they just. I'm just gonna throw one on. You know what? That's I'm not, gonna start here. That's not too far fetched. And yeah. if, if that's you, if you did that, thanks for watching. Ballsy. Yeah. Got, like what? A, what a choice. Thanks. Thanks I mean, for picked the one us. where we address it. All, all, you all, all I've heard during your intro is like, I'm John. And John Mulaney's like, hey, that's me. Hey, <laughs> I don't remember doing <laughs> this. <laughs> when did I get glasses? <laughs> Why is he an idiot? <laughs> Why is he? Did just a, just a single tear of like, that's who I always wanted to be. <laughs> <laughs> that guy. Oh, that guy. <laughs> Pablo, the polka evolution of John Mulaney. Uh, <laughs> of course, the other way around. Uh, anyway, so uh, in, our, uh, last two, in our last two sessions, uh, you guys finished up the Moon Goon heist, managed to uh, not only grab the moon rocks from the Eden City Science Museum and other stuff, um, <coughs> But also, uh, Marty did his first kill by uh, draining the life out of one of the scientists. I didn't mean to do it! Stop it! <laughs> He's going Stop in it. so fast. Who the hell is that guy? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for Jeremy's back, back on the board. Jeremy, Jeremy back on the board. Chris apparently was too tired to come. It's fine. <laughs> that, is, that is what happened. Was... Anyway, uh, so yes, so uh, Marty not only uh, killed the scientists and absorbed the life out of them, Good but also you. seemingly absorbed their soul as well. Oh, uh, yeah. Starting to tap further it's into their own weekend. mythos. <laughs> it's been a week. It's, it's been, been a week. Normally months that I have an excuse. This was a week ago today. Yeah, you're, you're acting like the same way as you I did when we started like months after. It's like, oh, yeah, and what's my dad's name again? <laughs> That's supposed to be the funniest clip I found for like a mm. teaser for a new episode. That's you look my dad's name. He's like, you're like, <laughs> <It's a realization. laughs> yes. Uh, meanwhile, a team effort between uh, Corey and Leland uh, managed to take down this uh, like Viking ship that was seemingly possessed by the spirit of some form of dragon. Um, Cheers. And in that time, Corey picked up a uh, mythical bow and arrow with incredible power and then got cooked. Got cooked. <laughs> uh, took a direct hit by Dragon Breath, Full immediate damage. fatal burns five. Uh, which was healed a Not little fatal. bit by Marty. Yeah, it's no yeah. longer fatal, thanks to Marty. Um, but as Corey went back to the Olympic uh, Olympus family... Uh, oh, yeah! <laughs> Mission failed successfully. You started yes. oh a my fucking God. war. Uh, Corey oh said that God. a family interested in finding relics attacked her, and then Minerva had to jump in and be like, all right, okay, she's delirious. Let's get her into the hospital. And I'm about <laughs> to make it worse. Yeah, about to make it a whole lot worse. Now she has real uh, wine in her hand. <laughs> yes, with, with the finest canned wine. We do not condone underage drinking. But if we you're don't. Of age, but we do condone 9:30 a.m. drinking. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's been one of those. We got We are getting into characters for you guys. It's a Sunday morning. 
burning. <laughs> the Lord's Day. <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly. That's shit, communion, baby. That. Drink his blood. Oh, wait, it's the first, uh, it's the first Sunday, actually, yeah. Okay, sorry, go ahead. Anyway, let's not get more sacrilegious. Yes. Um, and uh, news. <laughs> with, with that tension and apparently sacrilegion in the air, uh, what? Mainland what? of fucking shit. Sorry, I'm fucking... <laughs> Kevin, it's how many episodes in? Come on, you, you should be aware of it by now. Fuck! <laughs> He finally broke. What's up? Good the interruptions. I just fuck. I just wanted to know what the fuck. Remember, remind me. Marty had like yeah, sucked in like maybe a new mythos of some. Of yeah, the I was guy. gonna bring that up. What what was the thing I saw Dante. again? Uh, you saw the spirit of Dante the scientist. Dante was his name. Dante's Inferno. Got it. Okay. Yes. Yeah. It's it's literally Dante. Yeah. I saw that. Oh, the, you saw the, the nine layers. The nine the layers at the, in this lab. Yeah. yeah. Not only have you the absorbed a soul into yourself, but also the soul has not like dissipated into your subconscious. It still somehow has some kind of form. Um, but also, you're starting to tap into the uh, the powers that that form had. Uh, which we'll get into that soon. All right, cool, cool, cool. Okay, now but, you can go on. Yes, with all this, <laughs> with all this different stuff going on, uh, Leland and Logan, meanwhile, were running experiments on uh, the moon rocks, and after uh, exhausting uh, the limits of what info science could give him, uh, Logan decided to pick up one of the rocks and suddenly found himself in a Yeet. space. Uh, <laughs> On the moon, in a uh, larger, more tan body, uh, with Earth in the background, and in front of him standing a uh, solitary female figure. Um, so, a lot of magic stuff going on here while uh, you guys are dealing with some crime stuff in the background. But, first things first. You guys technically completed the, uh, you know, the moon goon heist, the case. So, we are going to do the move. Geek out after the credits. So yeah. this would this probably should have happened last session, but fuck it, we were already running over time. So here's it's the true. deal. Um, I'm gonna ask. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Mother's Day. We're shooting this, this is obviously Day. gonna be way later than Mother's yeah. Day, but wish your mother a happy Mother's Day. Yeah. Love them, and if you have a very rocky relationship, don't worry about it. Ah, uh, you mother. Yeah, it's, it's evidenced by the fact that you're telling them now. Yeah. In yeah. the time that you're watching this, we're, Happy Mother's Day. We're, we're shooting this on May 8th, so I. I I'm trying to do the calculations here. When this is going to come out? Probably in June. Happy yeah. Mother's uh, Day to us. Tell them happy Mother's Day. Put now. it on your calendar yeah. for yeah. next year. <laughs> Watch so, this uh, video next year. So what's the geek up. out after the credits? Thing? So here's oh, yeah. the deal. Uh, I'm going to ask you guys a question. Uh, how has the crew grown uh, this case? And for each <laughs> money, <laughs> and for uh, each Holy good God. answer, you can either mark attention to the crew theme or recover one of the burnt tags. Mind you, you guys have, uh, let's see, how many Two tags burnt? burnt? Tags. Two burnt tags. I don't believe you used all of them. Uh, did you use breaking and improvising or no? No, no. we burnt okay. Sindri and Donnie. Cool. So you guys have Sindri and Donnie who are burnt from the last heist. So, uh, yeah, as I ask you guys this question, you can choose to either mark attention to the theme and work toward a new power tag or uh, unburn one of the power tags you burned before. With that, Jason, how has the crew grown over the Moon Goon heist? That's a good question. I don't know. <laughs> Pablo, how is the crew oh, grow over the Moon Goon heist? <laughs> Fuck. Um, Kevin, we don't pay attention. We just yeah. <laughs> I just fucking... Uh, the crew... What, we each have to answer for the whole crew. Yeah. Uh, or at least for you. Or for someone I else. I think um, that we all think the crew is a nice idea. You're the, the crew. But... Not pointing any fingers. Could have been done better. And I think... Yes, it is a reference. <laughs> <laughs> she just got... Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> she doesn't know which Tarantino movie. I know. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, all jokes aside, but using the joke as a through way <laughs> to get to the point, it could have been done better. And I think, we all think, that we're improving because of it. I think we all know... Bro, hey, you we're, are, hey, we're you're filibustering more. so hard right now. <laughs> we, <dude. laughs> I think, <laughs> I think it is. We all think, think that we're getting a little bit more cohesive at this, and individually, not together, but individually, we all think that, and that means as a crew, we are all recognizing. Growth. Give me one example, huh? Give me one. <laughs> example. <laughs> The sweat. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. 
<laughs> what, 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 what was uh, that, uh, that Key and Peel skit where like they're talking about like, hey, why is the the history always deleted on this laptop? And she starts talking about different levels of pornography. And his water just starts <laughs> water. down. If, if you can give me one example, you I think? will I, I will say that's a good answer. Okay, one example. One of example. Give me one how we, memory. How we evolved as a crew. How you guys became more cohesive. One example. Just one. I got one. I. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I don't know why I was like gonna stop you from helping. I have one too. If he, if it's, not, it, but I first. feel as a crew, <laughs> such full of shit. we have cared for each other a lot more than we did in the beginning. Okay, give me an example. When I carried her after her burnt corpse, and I cared for her like a <laughs> child. Sorry, I didn't wild. just leave her there. Was, yeah. You know what? I will take that. Mark either attention or uh, unburn a uh, tag. What do you guys want to do? Can I can I just add to that to sure. kind of give you a, a more deeper answer? Sure. Uh, uh, Bravo. How has the crew grown? So from uh, Leland's perspective, he learned uh, one way to outsmart instead of muscling through. Mm-hmm. He realized, even though I did help him, he took my trust into using the the box and taking trust into me, using that advice to push forward into imminent Wait, that danger. that was you? I, I mean... No, no, I'm the one who Meta told you to do so. Yeah, you yeah. being Bravo. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So he found a way to, to, instead of thinking with his muscle, he thought with his brain, mm-hmm. finding a way to, you know, overcome a, a big obstacle. She found the courage to stand up, not only for herself, but to take a risk. Besides being the, the damsel in distress in the back, she took it upon herself to actually, you know, get into the fight, even if it cost her. Mm-hmm. Um, what's his face? Uh, Marty. <laughs> Marty. <laughs> the face. Uh, Marty, the face. Uh, Marty mm-hmm. learned a little bit more about um, trusting his crew <laughs> and seeing something beyond just himself and his own needs, even aside from his father. And uh, <laughs> and Logan found more hatred for Helix Labs. <laughs> yeah. Incredible. On the Marty thing, as Marty. I was paying attention. <laughs> I, well, I would, I'll, I'll uh, reinforce that. I, I think because really the moment of truth Marty personally had in this Heist was that he had the, remember that. Well, he had the moment. I had the moment of deciding whether to just go on by myself and loot the lab and let them deal with this and get fried. And I chose instead to warn everybody Jared. and also try and help them out instead of. I turned into a rat in red and way, but not before. <laughs> but not before trying mm-hmm. to to alert everybody and you know. So I think that that has shown that like we're not. Maybe the first heist we ever did together was just like, ah, this is a job. But I think we've done enough, we spent enough time together that clearly there's some kind of trust, some kind of kinship that uh, pulls at my strings. Incredible. A bond. So I think that they, there's a bond that's formed that's just like now become instinctive and uh, more uh, you did alluring. Read the material. This is like the kid who told the joke in class, but nobody heard it. So this guy told the same joke again, but louder. Yeah, I just say the same shit that you're saying. <laughs> yeah, what do you guys want to do? I, he said louder. He meant yeah. better. I, I, I will say both of those will work as answers. What do you guys want to do? You want to put so attention? Of I, I don't have to answer the question. Yes. Oh. <laughs> like, hey, you only answer Well, first things first. So you, what did you do, Jason? I saved her. No, I meant like <laughs> on the crew. I theme. killed the show. Oh no, he's asking. We all get to do something. Yes, yes. So, yeah. Uh, oh. So basically, you know, what you guys could do is like unburn, unburn, attention, attention, or it could be attention, 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 get a level up and only unburn one of the tags. Oh. I say we, because look, us having Donnie back and Sindri is already well, we're well enough do. that we need. Well, we're going to get two attentions. Yeah. So yeah, might as well get two attention. Well, yeah, he two. can only do one of these things. Uh, I'll take, I'll, I'll bring back Donnie. Okay. Cool. Yay. I want to throw him at a fire. Cool. <laughs> I need my drinks. So and now, which wings? Okay. Good, uh, you get to do something. Yeah, and while you guys are figuring out whether you're going to mark attention or unburn a tag, uh, Corey. Um, yeah, so I would say for Corey and where she she sits among the group, um, she leads. It wasn't until this past episode that Corey was actually pushed to do something, because mostly her as close as she gets to getting her hands dirty is sending Spot to do something, but. She experienced Spot not, like, actually being helpful, and that put her in a place where she had to do something different, and and instead of just having, you know, everybody do something for her, she actually had to, like, take a shot on her own. She actually was put in a place of major discomfort with that, that bow and having to, like, take it over. Mm-hmm. You know, that was completely out of her comfort zone, having to do something for herself that way. Um... And then, yeah, getting torched, <laughs> getting lit and, you know, 
more than the usual sense. <laughs> and um, literally, <laughs> you know, that's that's yeah, that's a new and horrifying experience where no one was able to take that uh, be the body shield for her. So I think that's gonna allow her to grow and and be more hands on alongside everybody. All righty, yeah. yeah. mighty blunt. So, I guess that's yeah. all. Because we unburned everybody. Unless Coco. you have two attentions. Yes, two yeah. attentions. So one more attention, and the uh, the crew theme levels up. Thank you. Sweet. Nice. Yeah. Oh, that should be Trixie that should be your that should be your. No, we got a third thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how did how did Trixie grow? Uh, <laughs> how did Trixie grow? I realized my <laughs> evolved into the mega of all form of nine tails. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. You Ten figured tails. out mega Trixie evolution. Trixie evolves too. Yeah. Ten tails. Eighteen tails. So, as we come back into the city, uh, you all are sort of scattered about the city. Uh, You two are in the same room, but your brain is on, like, another planet. Uh, And uh, the two of you are in other corners of the city as well, dealing with your own things. But we're not starting on uh, any of you. Instead, we're soaring through the sky on the wings of a single pigeon. Yes! Uh, Sorry. <laughs> Butterflies Sorry. in the skies. I can go twice as high. <laughs> oh, I'm so I woke sorry. up Jeremy the whole like, like, my what? lord. <laughs> Jeremy's just like, and a mute boy. <laughs> as the pigeon flies over a building aimlessly, Re-ray we see Re-ray down Re-ray. there a uh, a single f- uh, old man oh, God, uh, surrounded go. by uh, <laughs> coops of various birds, mostly <laughs> pigeons, but some uh, parrots, condors, <laughs> ravens. Uh, uh, and as he looks up, his eye glows, and suddenly the eyes of the pigeon glow as well. And the pigeon and soars like down. <laughs> to kind of get the fucking <laughs> yeah, signal Exactly. Right. He's like, I got this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> as the pigeon soars down, we see the Rolling Note Casino, an establishment he always keeps an eye on. Uh, we see the downtown <laughs> hospital, the library, and the pigeon soars further down into an open manhole cover into the sewers of the city itself. And as the pigeon flies, it's dark, but there's still enough room for the pigeon to uh, go through the tunnels. Um, There are shadows. There is this, like, green, like, funk in the air, like smoke. Uh, There is the occasional homeless person that the pigeon uh, flies past, and then also the occasional (laughs) subway train. But uh, after an indeterminate amount of time, for there is no daylight in this underground world, the pigeon goes through the specific tunnels it was sent to look through. And for just a moment, the pigeon lands on the ground and looks around. And that's when a shadow on the wall suddenly steps forward and the pigeon looks up to see this six foot tall (laughs) mound of rats peel itself off the wall like a living silhouette before descending on the pigeon. (laughs) So, uh, Marty. What the fuck was that? You're a pigeon. What do you do? No, you're not a pigeon. (laughs) I will play this episode as a pigeon. No, uh, as as we uh, cut to black, we go over back to the uh, what do we call it? The the Krispies, the the Bardies, the Ken- no no not the diner, the parking lot. You were in uh, oh. with Gatekeeper. Uh, not, sorry, uh, not like a Carl's Jr. I think I said Bevmo. Charles hmm. Senior. Oh yeah, no, well, was Bevmo's it? an actual place. That's the thing. Revmo. Uh, Rev- that was it. <laughs> Revmo, sure. I think it was Revmo. Let us know right? in the comments. Below. Let us know yeah. in the comments when we've already figured it out. Uh, Agent Harvey Studwell is standing with you in this parking lot. Um, I think it's a Revmo. Yeah. Uh, so uh, you're talking with this agent. You've shown him the photo, uh, the, like the blurry photo of this like weird rat creature thing that was holding a gun. Uh, and you're sort of like in the middle of this conversation, but you know, it, you just did one heist and now you might already be planning on doing another mission where you're sticking your neck out and you're talking to this guy who like you have a complicated relationship with, uh, for the voiceover monologue, what's going through Marty's head? Oh man. John Mulaney. <laughs> I'm on like four hours sleep. So let's, let's figure this out. Uh, hey Chris, wake up. That. Chris, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm the Chris now. <laughs> Damn it. As long as you're sleepy. Uh, as long as I'm sleepy, you're Chris. That's going to be a badge we're going to uh, give people who are fucking up on the day. <laughs> the Chris badge. The Chris badge. Is that the the Orango. Man. The Orango badge. Of Chris, <laughs> Chris. Is like this. 
Chris does good work most of the time, but it's does also he? incredibly funny when he's not doing does, good work. Does he really? Chris, <laughs> you already know how it works. You're booking to bust your balls. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, okay, Marty is. Uh, Marty's thinking. God, I wish I got more sleep. Man. <laughs> I I ha- Marty probably hasn't slept either, yeah, so this is yeah. perfect. Just, just be you. I haven't had this little beauty sleep since I was in sixth grade when I looked like a rat on too many mojitos. Three in the morning after a four-day binge of just looking good. I don't know if that was referring to me in sixth grade or me right now, but boy, do I feel rough. Gosh, the agent is he, looking at him as he just as saying he's this doing out this, loud. I'm saying like, this at the third button on his shirt. And I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> boy, oh, geez, oh, howdy, man. I need my beauty sleep. I don't know what's wrong with me. I used to be a lot more slick. I'm losing my cut, my edge, my my jab, my, 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 my rise of the Mohicans, my third row from the sun, I, my, my, third, my third seat from the choir. I didn't know it was going to be this hard, being bad. <laughs> I didn't know it was going to be this rough, being smooth. <laughs> okay, now you're I didn't trying, know. Now you're trying to piss this off. <laughs> now you're trying to piss this I off. I didn't know. So your order was ready. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What's that? Yeah. Oh, thanks. So, so the so you're still standing in the parking lot. You're talking the to Rambo. <laughs> you're, of the Rambo. you're talking to this agent, and uh, you know, saying, you're, okay, yeah, you, you're you're kind of having this monologue as he's kind of like looking over the information that you know you, you're giving him. He's like, uh-huh. uh, he's not even paying attention. And uh, he finally he like he's examining this uh, photo, and then like he looks at you and says something. He kind of snaps you out of your like no sleep days. Uh, and I don't snap out of it until he makes me. <laughs> until then, he just sees this. Yeah, <laughs> and we kind of. I'm. I'm like. You know, people. Some people read with their lips. And <laughs> that's what I'm. I didn't know it was gonna. Be. Are you sure you didn't touch the moon rocks there, kiddo? Yeah. You know? <laughs> Marty. Marty. Mr. Blanc. Be this smooth. Huh? What? Oh. What? Uh, uh, sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Let's... So you're. So you're saying. Okay. So first off, you're examining the moon rocks uh-huh. before you can send them over to me. Uh well the 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 the, 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 the big man is yeah the big man <laughs> didn't I give him those like fake names for my associates yeah do you remember them I thought I called Kevin, do you remember them <laughs> do you remember them? I, <laughs> think, I think I have those notes <laughs> I couldn't remember my father's name Kevin also does very good work for us uh yeah so but he's also, the, the names good. you gave him you did say Corey. Uh, <laughs> But you also gave him Lugnut and Skyscraper. Skyscraper <laughs> yeah. and Lugnut. That's right. Yeah, I Your Lugnut on Skyscraper. You know, uh, but I didn't tell him is their real name. No. Skyscraper's looking him over as they all, as, as a skyscraper does. You know what I'm saying? Meanwhile, God, I'm so short. <laughs> Looks over. <laughs> meanwhile. All right. Well, as long as you know that, uh, you know, you don't get any money until I get those moon rocks, uh, should be fine. I think, uh, I think the information I, hang on a second. Now, come on, be reasonable, huh? I think the information I provided is worth a little something. Well, it's not like I didn't give you any kind of fruits or results from my work. I didn't come here empty-handed. Do you need to see the thing again? <laughs> I turned back into the right fucking what's thing. what's that? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> after seeing that for the second time. Without the mist, that kid yeah. just yeah. sees me going. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, come on, come on Ronnie. Come These on, kids Ronnie. are dangerous. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a- Agent Sudwell sees that and just shakes his head and goes. <laughs> oh, he sees the real rat thing. Yeah, I know. He oh. sees that. He sees, oh, he like, sees the kid the freaking the out. Really he just goes, oh, God damn it. All right. Should have chosen the did so, so here's the deal. The information about the moon rocks, that's great. But I'm not paying for information about the moon rocks. I'm paying for the moon rocks. Now, the information you gave me for this. Which is more valuable than the moon rocks. But Well, you know, you you gave, you're giving me a blurry photo it here. Bears saying, I'm giving, you a, I'm giving you a whole show, my man. I'm just saying. You want to see me do it again? You want to see me do it again? <laughs> well, give me some more info here. You said this. You got for this free? photo. Sure. <laughs> I mean, I could, just, I could just walk away. Ask I mean, can we, I, we, my we, man. We could have done here. I, I have a job. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. He kind of got you no. there. My friend, my friend, my friend, Cole. As we say Cole. in the business, don't bullshit a bullshitter. Incredible. You came to me. Now, I'm a good guy. I'm good at what I do. And I'm a nice guy. But most of all, I'm fair. You came to me. So, 
I'm walking away from here with the value with what I brought. I'm holding up my end of the deal, and I do deals for a living. So, before you ask me another question for free, just remember, don't bullshit a bullshitter. All right, let's do a convince. What tags are you using? Gun. Uh, <laughs> You're uh, not here. <laughs> turn on the charm. Turn on the charm, <laughs> cunning haggler. You gonna give me the suit? Hmm? You gonna give me the suit? No, he's also wearing a suit. Fuck. Yeah, you know what? That's fair. <laughs> okay, no, I was gonna that. argue that, that, but he's also wearing a suit. <laughs> yeah. The end of my character monologue is, damn, he's got a nice suit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, I gotta wake up. Um, okay, so those two things. Jack of all trades. Um, no. Perseverant. Perseverant. Perseverant, yeah, yeah, sure. I mean, you're tired. Yeah, that works for negotiation. Same tricks yet, though. <laughs> she starts biting him. Ah! Um, I'm uh, 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 hypnotic seduction. Uh, okay. Are you ex- are you extending your powers toward this man? Is what I'm saying. I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't. This man, he literally him? knows how to nullify our powers, and he's aware, most likely, when people are trying to pull some mystical bullshit on him. Just shoot him. <laughs> hey, I Logan, use I gun. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'll throw you my gun. <laughs> Quick, do the key trick. Uh, what do I have so far? Three. Two? You have three. What's the third? Oh, perseverance. Yeah. Honestly, it's a good roll already. Uh, you have to literally get two ones to be like shit. Yeah. <laughs> I hate to be fair, but do I have to invoke financial strain? Uh, yeah, you don't have a great negotiating. I mean, the point here. is, I'm trying to get. Yeah, you're trying to get the money. My work here to make this risk worth it. No, yeah, no, but, yeah, he's already activated. So, it, so. Yeah. it's two. two. It's two. But you get yeah. to market yeah. attention. Oh, that's true. Hey, hey. You're going to do it? Undevoted yeah. child, yeah. Yep. Um, right. That's the reason I'm working yeah, so hard here. Roll it, baby. I, roll. too. Piss. This roll will determine all rolls. Why, <gasps> why shouldn't I hit seduce Set him? Hypnotic? Because Hypnotic. Remember, Hypnotic. He, he, know, he knows how, how to literally nullify it. He probably I mean, has some sense on that shit. You can try. Just saying. That, that I, I, live that I, mean, I live with you, Kevin. I live with Kevin. You two I already have bullshit. chemistry. <laughs> huh? You two already have chemistry. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm, he's really fighting me on this. I, uh... When I have more. He's just money to me, and I'm and I still I'm more. I'm sixty percent crew, forty percent him right now, and maybe even seventy yeah. thirty. So I'm gonna try to hip hip. Okay, make sure. it a three. Fuck it. I'm so uh, be, three then. Okay, cool. I subtly do it with the comb. Hell, I didn't roll. Well, hang on. Oh, uh, that, as soon oh, as the <laughs> hypnotic <laughs> lingers your words, uh, Agent Studwell's eyes go wide. And he holds up a hand, uh, and suddenly uh, oh, mist appears from his palm, and like for like it's pretty much like a smoke cloud almost. Uh, you start like coughing up. Uh, let's see here. I'm gonna need you to burn the tags. <gasps> uh, hypnotic seduction. And uh, let's see say? here. I can't even go toe to toe with this motherfucker. Nope. <gasps> see, uh, this is cities of mist. Fucking bullshit characters where they could just nullify our shit. This well, so this guy shit. in particular. This is City of Miss bullshit character. <laughs> so yeah, so uh, burn uh, hypnotic seduction and uh, turn on the charm. Oh, he just turned off the charm. Turn on the charm? Yeah. You haven't Wait, paid your charm bill lately. So no, it is a logo. It's a logo. logo. Oh, yeah. shit, never mind. No, and this is any this is any tag that's used in the attack. Uh, yep. So a plus two uh, still. Wait, I can still roll. Well, yeah. no, those tags are now burned, so they're no longer part of the roll. So uh, and that's act- just a plus one. Yeah, and yeah. actually, he- here's what we're going to do. Uh, so he, no tra- the, with the situation no changed one- oh, now, that was a good idea. with what? the situation changed now, he opens up his palm, the mist comes out, you start, like, hacking and coughing, and as you're, like, trying to get, like, your words back, Agent Studwell goes, I thought you were better than that. I thought you were better than that, Mr. Blanc. Um, you should know that we're well-equipped, and he puts his hat back on. And like his uh, face starts getting a little bit pixelated now as you watch him. He goes, "Thought you would have known that uh, we would have had defenses of that against that kind of thing." So, here's what we're gonna do, okay? I just shoot him in the leg. Oh! What I'm paying for <laughs> is the moon rocks, but the info you're giving me about that creature, I might be interested in that as well. So, you're right. I can't bullshit a bullshitter. So why don't we cut the bullshit and actually talk over brass tacks, huh? 
Do I get to roll now? <laughs> you can still roll if you want. Okay. You, you will just be in a weakened position now, since you're not. You don't have those tags. So you got a plus one. Am I like in pain? No. Oh, you just, okay. he just nullified your. You just nullified your you don't hypnotizing have the extra, power. Like, what do you think? Can we talk about the what now? No one listens. To uh, talk Stop. about. <laughs> yeah. Talk about the other information you, you were giving him. Uh -huh. But you can still roll to see if he can give I you, like, you know, an advance or something like that on the moon rocks, even though you haven't delivered the product Basically, yet. Nothing's changed. You're not you're not in threat, but now your chances of getting a good roll just went down. Yes. Dramatically. You could still pull you're off rolling your fucking at a six six. Yes. So, yeah. so you can roll plus one if you want. But if you lose, you're not getting the advance. All right. I'm a finesse here, and if you don't let me add one to it, that's fine. Because right now it's just a plus one with my weakness. Yes. Mm -hmm. So if I gag all my words or whatever, and he like kind of power trips me mm -hmm. like he just did, I I go, uh, don't bullshit. A bu <coughs> As he fucking does all that, says that shit, and he says that fucking shit. Let's talk about <laughs> whatever you just fucking said. Yeah. I go, <laughs> <laughs> God. God. Fuck I do, but he's always no, like, no, why no, are we no. talking about the information? And then I, I regain composure and I go, <clears throat> straighten my tie. You got it. I know my worth. <laughs> Taylor made suit. God damn! <laughs> All right, fine. Fine. Busted. You're real. Oh, that was fuck actually it. smooth. Mm. That was smooth. Oh, fuck. Go for it. Can, I get a, gonna be too can I get a ding in post? There we go. Alrighty. Sure. I'm the only one who fucking does that. Give them more shit. He's gonna put a finger yeah. to you. Yeah. <laughs> roll, roll. Can I get roll, a ding? Roll, he puts roll, a shit roll, in there. Right. Don't lose. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> That's a 13, that I think? 11, That's an 11 plus 2. two. You motherfucker. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. Huh. All you motherfucker. <laughs> there. <laughs> He's just having a day. Uh, there He's is. Happy he be kept. He does that. No, Marty uh, does that in the middle of the parking lot. I do. Ah. <laughs> Taylor made soup. Let's take it off. Really <laughs> Inside <laughs> is another suit. <laughs> <laughs> Always special. Is it say, is it say burn Taylor made for ripping. <laughs> burn, burn. Go on. Go so, on. So with that, uh, after a tense moment in these negotiations, <laughs> little kid Ronnie's like, "Hang on, mom. This is getting good." <laughs> Agent Studwell gives Come you on. like a look. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> and then smiles. <laughs> I can see you're a seasoned negotiator there, Mr. Blanc. Five years at Eden Auto Sales. <laughs> well then. I'm more interested in moving this forward. So he walks over to his car parked in the parking lot. Uh, Explodes. Op op <laughs> opens up the back seat. There's a suitcase. He opens up the suitcase and he pulls out a wad of cash. And as he does, he comes back. And he gives you one loot. Hey! Oh, oh. you almost had it. <laughs> uh, Show the chips off to the cameras. Hey, what yeah. is this, Kevin? This looks new. Oh, yes. Those are chips created by our treasured patron, Hunter Who's, uh, who sent them over. They are Rolling Note Casino chips. You may remember the Rolling Hopefully Note Casino from... <laughs> I, I, I don't know what I'm doing here. Yeah. Yeah, just kind of just put them up there if needed. Yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll post like a photo of them in the edit if like, it's out of focus. Bravo has the camera in his eyeball that he always has. Uh, <laughs> but yes, no, thank you oh, wow. so much, Hunter, for creating these awesome Yay! Rolling Note yeah, Casino chips. We're awesome. going to be using these for uh, the loot chips now. That's really so cool. fun. Yeah. Yeah, we're heavy. I oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Actually, let's just do that right now. Who already has loot? Um, I do. Ooh. Here you go. I, hey. One loot. You have one yeah, loot? Yeah, I, try. I, I don't remember. One. One. Oh, okay. You can hold one. I want that back, though. And then, Corey, did you have loot? <laughs> Probably, I don't remember spending mine on anything. And you go. Oh, if that landed in the wine, I was. <laughs> I oh man. Okay, there we go. Incredible. So he gives me. Uh, yeah. He gives me some a wad of cash. Yeah, he gives you a wad of cash, Respect. and then he turns to you and goes, "That'll be in advance on the moon rocks when they actually enter my hand." But what I'm really interested in uh -huh. is this other thing you got me. Now tell me, you got this from a Helix Labs email? 
Was it so hard? Was it there? Stop uh, pushing uh, your fucking uh, uh, Harvey? <laughs> Har- Harvey? Mm-hmm. Harvey Stedmore, yeah. Mr. That's so Stedmore. hard, Harvey boy. What was the question? <laughs> God damn it, Pablo. <laughs> I just wanted just to make a fucking I, image. Yeah. Uh, we show people. What can God damn what was the question? Pablo. Mm-hmm. Uh, this was this came from a Helix Labs email. Was well, it so hard, Javi boy? All right, I'm back in the, to see that. <laughs> he just wanted to get yes, his system. Helix Labs is where we found the information. Email. Oh, we didn't find it at Helix Labs. It, it, <laughs> well, that's where we get that. Well, that's where the information was from. We found it in the museum, and that uh, yeah. Well, that's I said that a lot more. <laughs> Cohesively cool. in mm. character. Yeah, the, sure. In the fiction. Cool. Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, Harvey looks it over and goes, Well, that's unfortunate. Every time Helix Labs comes up in an investigation in my department, there's suddenly a lot of red tape that pops up. But my misfortune, maybe your lucky break, Marty. Go on. Because I'd be real interested in a gang of lunatics I can pay under the table. To break into those labs and get me whatever this thing is. All right. Alive. Bit of a gentleman call for a lot of people you haven't met, but, you know, sure. A bit of a gentleman call. Huh? What'd you say? A bit of a gentleman call? No, a bit of a... uh, What? Gentle touch? No, I... I, What the fuck did just... Am I having a stroke? I said a bit of a... Bit of a... a Yes. Assumption is what I said. You're having a stroke. I mean, you did say gentleman's call. Right. Even what? I was like, what? what are you doing here? Uh, <laughs> roll the tape. Uh, yeah, roll, roll the tape. Can we just no. get up, Pablo? He's very tired. I'm so, so tired. He's, tired. he's the one who's adding fuel to the yeah. fire every fucking time. Listen, uh, actually, Agent Studwell goes, I'd like to talk about this more. So, you Let's know, he talk. looks over and there's like a, like a half there's bar. Leland. There's like a half bar, half restaurant where you'd be able to get a beer in the morning. He turns to you and goes, would you like to talk this uh, over some drinks? At that exact moment, you feel a vibrating in your pocket. From your cell phone. Uh, your shift will be starting up soon. So you have a choice of putting off work and getting some beers or some drinks with Agent uh, Harvey here talking about the next case. Or you can head off to work and make sure you get there on time. Find out next week. <laughs> you buy. <laughs> <laughs> you this whole episode was just mm-hmm. fucking fun. Yeah. You buy in? No. Sure. The first one. Drive a hard bargain, Harvey boy. Hard bargain. And I silence the phone. Let's. Thanks. All right. <laughs> What's funny? You could always be like, hey, I'm sick. <laughs> but no, you just I just hung up. Fucking- ah, shit. Hang on a second. <laughs> <laughs> we can pay- if the scene's yeah. over, we can yeah. pan out on me <laughs> dialing like, hey, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah. So uh, you guys head into the restaurant. You have some beers, some cigars. Talking over the next case. Mark uh, fade on your mm-hmm. salesman extraordinaire theme. <gasps> Fuck. You're putting off work. You mean a crack? Yes, fade crack. I, I believe it says the same thing on either of those. I can never. I can never remember if it's like fade for logos, fade for logos. I knew that's why he was doing yeah. that. I'm I'm like, just, Fuck I just, me. I mostly just say fade all the time. Okay, yeah. I should uh, get an attention on salesman extraordinaire because of the shit I did to get fucking paid just now. Thoughts. <laughs> You did. did. Didn't he activate no, one thing? Uh, no, I got an attention on. No, I got an attention on devoted child. I mean, well, technically, you know, I got an attention because I used the the weakness financial strain. That is true. Yeah. But, but the thing is, you didn't activate it, and he didn't activate it, so it's too late. Yeah. No, it, it it's uh, fade just because you're spending time off your yeah. work to per, to pursue more your criminal stuff. Um, but you still got the attention on the uh, paternal relationship theme. That's just. Uh, how it's going to work as you spend some time talking uh, okay. with Agent Harvey over some drinks. If you lose this, you can find everyone. The salesman yeah. extraordinaire is literally referring to my job as a yes. car salesman. Yeah. In okay. other words, are you doing what your character says they do? Which yeah. right now you Which didn't. right now I, de- I betrayed that. Yeah. Yeah. So that's how this game works. And anyway. That, uh, so sorry. You're good. No, I hit the mic. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, well, then you're not good. How do you apologize? That changes everything. And as we move, please the, move on. As we move the camera from this parking lot, uh, from the incredibly sleep deprived uh, Pablo, <laughs> and it's a pigeon keeping an eye on everything. And we and we tighten the frame on these two while I go take a nap. <laughs> uh, we go to uh, Eden City Downtown Hospital, uh, past the hallway where uh, Leo Castillo is working. There's another pigeon that isn't dead that flies past the window. Uh, actually, I'm gonna say it's like. A, like a group of ravens that like Leo just like looks up and then ignores as he usually does. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> and as we go down that hallway, we go into the room where uh, the hospital room where Minerva and Corey are talking. Uh, 
Corey, you know, you're pretty much like just kind of healing up from that like mm -hmm. stellar like aloe vera that uh, uh, that one <laughs> right. doctor was giving you. Like it was your, so, oh, fucking, uh, your, your skin is healing before healed, your like, eyes. All right, just no questions. <laughs> yeah. your, your burnt skin is healing before your eyes. This you can make a fortune off this stuff. Um, burned skin is healed with fire. Yeah, uh, but Makes sense to me. Minerva uh, looks at you Question and right. goes, "So what you told the All Father was that a family searching after relics came after you and burned you to within an inch of your life. Yes, that's what you said in your delirious state. Yes." Delirious. I have a, I have quite a few questions for you, but my first one is: Do you understand why that's a huge problem? I do. Meanwhile, reports of violence going on in the streets, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, the reports are for a missing scientist named Dante who just disappeared <laughs> one day. <laughs> Last known whereabouts: the basement of the museum, because because apparently he checked in twice. Uh, <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, because you used his card yeah. to get in. Yeah. <laughs> he checked in twice. Anyway. Checked out. Uh, None. None. Yeah. None. So uh, Minerva turns to you and goes, so can you tell me what actually happened? What actually happened? So this fucking Viking ship, right? It <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so I'm going to need your help on how to spin this. I've got a couple ideas. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I would love to hear them. <laughs> but to put the record straight, just between you and me, <laughs> there was a boat. <laughs> it sounds stupid when you. <laughs> there was a boat, right? Minerva, or she does. She doesn't even quirk an eyebrow. She just goes a boat. That's that's literally any person you were watching describing this show to somebody who doesn't watch it. So there was this boat, right? And they're like, what? They're the like, fuck okay. Shot with fire. Yeah, and it was <laughs> breathing yeah. fire. Um, it was protecting what we what we came to um, pick up. This, this, this place, this museum, it was full. It was full of all these strange things. And what attacked us was, I'm guessing, just one of them. It was just, I don't know if they were using it like a guard dog or something like that. But anyway, um, we, we left with, well... Uh, I, I guess I, I'm guessing is is the bow in the room with, um, yeah, 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 it, yeah. Could, it could be on your person. Yeah. Okay. So um, it's yeah, it's somewhere similar. We left with that. Uh, she looks at the bow. So you know, you said like, oh, there was a boat that's like breathing fire. Mm -hmm. Like her face did not change at all. Mm -hmm. Um, can I help you, gentlemen? Does he have the bow? <laughs> no, Mr. Carpenter. <laughs> um, wait your turn. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, uh, I want to say, wasn't I going to keep the boat to analyze it? No, I know that's what you were saying, but you—that's what I was telling you. you no, I don't. I have the rocks. You don't have I the boat. The she rocks. has the boat. Yeah, I was gonna say. From what I remember, I think I was keeping You're it with keep me. The boat? Okay, got it. Okay. Because because I got taken away and then like straight to the hospital because I just was not doing good. No, because yeah. I know when you guys came over to our house, we had the little funny joke of you hung up the boat like we hung up Thor's hammer in, in the movie. Uh, did you leave the bow on the thing? I don't think I would. No, I thought it was let's like, just say yeah. for the sake. Okay, yeah, so let's, I, let's, I let's just say that Corey has the bow yeah. just because this is also like a thing that you yeah. were yeah. the only one that was able to okay. pick it up, too. Yeah. You already had the reaction to it. It was a mm -hmm. boat. Yeah. So, so yeah. Okay, so guys, like I said, I uh, so Minerva's face did not change when you were talking about like the bow to mention that brief fire and all that. Mm -hmm. As uh -huh. soon as her eyes alight on this bow, though, you see like her eyebrows like go up. Mm -hmm. And to her, that's like her like jumping up and down and being like, holy shit. It's just her going like. Uh, oh, sorry. And <laughs> expression. She uh, she looks down at him for a moment. She's just kind of staring, and then she turns to you and goes, "Do you know what this bow can do?" I've Most seen stuff. what this bow can do. <laughs> well, well, well. And it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> everyone, <Other people>. <laughs> everyone. <laughs> it's in the shop. Keep going. 
<laughs> Did you lose your water bottle? Yeah. <laughs> and I went into shock. Keep going. Don't mind me. <laughs> normally, I, normally I just roll with the delays. Yeah, uh, no. <laughs> this is the funny part. <laughs> so, so um, sorry. Sorry. Oh, See, she looks at you and goes, okay, well, thank you for telling me this. I see. So you stole this from the museum and also the moon rocks? Were the, are the moon rocks valuable? They're still being analyzed right now. Meanwhile, what does this mean? <laughs> I'm just going to come back to you with a hammer. Rock is rock. Damn it. <laughs> it blows up my hammer. Okay. <laughs> like, just like, after an hour, I've concluded this is a rock. <laughs> so the rock is hard. Rock. <laughs> so it's hard. <laughs> Pour some Coke on it. The Coke yeah. turns into mist. <laughs> turns into <laughs> Pepsi. <laughs> it turns into Pepsi. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Cut, serious cut moment. Back. Okay. Minerva uh, looks in and goes, okay. I'd be interested to hear if the moon rocks have any power to them, but... Mm -hmm. I can already tell that that bow is valuable, very valuable. And in fact, I'd be willing to pay you double what I gave you for the hammer for that bow. It's our choice, my boy. I'm interested. <laughs> When I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm more interested in right now, though, is talking to Maximilian. Maximus. Maximus? Maximilian. Max. Yeah. God. Yeah. Okay. Max. Max. Talking, talking Max. to Max. <laughs> Daddy Max. Max. Daddy Max. Yes, we will have to set the story straight with him. You said you had some stories already cooked up. Well, I've had a lot of time thinking in this hospital bed how I got here, and I wouldn't be in this position if it weren't for Mr. Vidalis. I've been very disposable to him, I think. Spicy. <laughs> and I'm wondering... Caliente. If maybe that's the family that attacked me. You're saying a boat attacked you last night. Was there any other rival? Was were there a, a gang members that attacked you? Was there an I'm, ambush? I'm saying for the bow, there could have been. Ah, uh, okay. Well, that could be incredibly dangerous. You, of all people, should know how tenuous our relationship with the Vidales is, especially after the incident that you were at the center of. We still don't know why that shot went off, though both sides swear that the other side must have put that hitman up there. But I have been working in the background to reestablish lines of communication. Time has passed and well, since you're here there have been no aggressive moves made on our territories. So I believe that some of the aggression might have died down. Hmm. I don't believe we should blame the Vidales for this because that could start a war outside all of our control hmm. no. but if you're willing to say that you were doing a job on the museum and an explosion went off and you were too no and you were too knocked out to complete the mission. I'm sure we can sell that to Maximilian without starting any territorial turf wars. Now, Nothing. Keep going. Focus. <laughs> focus. We're allowed to talk. We're allowed to talk. We have to talk. You're doing good. It's very captivating, isn't no, it? No, that's, that's on me. That's on me. <laughs> <laughs> Let Pablo get to me. Uh, 
Sorry. Uh, you but, just got a little more British for a second. Am I the only heard it? He looked as is he British? Yeah. <laughs> is, is she a more British? Okay, uh, that's it. Minerva looks at you and goes, you from London? would that work for you? And then you could no. say that your words about a family hunting relics was something you were in a delirious state entirely burned. And drunk. And drunk, if you want to say that as well. Did you, how did you get wine in a hospital room? You know, I just, I don't ask too many questions other than for favors. And most of the time, they work out. Donnie. Donnie oh, yeah. it. <laughs> He's got it. All right, go ahead, go ahead. Do- Donnie, Donnie walks into the room and immediately like, oh, you're awake? That's so great. And he has like a bottle of wine in like a bucket with like ice. He has like glasses uh, that he like brings over. It's like, listen, I had to smuggle this in here and don't ask me how I did it, but don't oh. worry. The wine's Wait, all clean. Don't right. smell the it's bottle okay. either. I don't need to know, Donnie. What I need is a refill. Thank you very much. Of course, of course. Uh, Minerva watched <laughs> Is this like this like personal goon like pour you some wine that he mm-hmm. snuck into a hospital and hand it to you? And Minerva almost looks impressed. Uh, <laughs> what a boss bitch! I keep thinking they're in a they're in a hospital. Yeah, right? yeah. I keep thinking they're in like a wing of the mansion. No, oh, you know yeah. what I mean like because no. okay. uh, Leland Hilton. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I right, 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 right. Um, they're in a hospital. Look, uh, Leo. 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 It's too many L's. Yeah, yeah y'all too, love I, the L's. L names, don't you? Yeah. Leo, Leland, Logan. Logan. So, uh, Minerva turns Larry. to you and goes, <laughs> Larry. I, I, of course, don't have all the funds on my person at the moment, but if you allow me to leave here with that bow, I will make sure payment is sent over to you post-haste. Do we have a deal? I could drink to that. Hmm. Donnie, was it? And Donnie goes, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's Donnie. Uh, hi there, oh, ma'am. Uh, and Minerva goes, I would like a glass as well. I see you brought multiple. And he goes, yeah, I mean, this one was for me. And Minerva just gives him a look. He's like, but it's for you. <laughs> uh, and then Mick comes up. Daddy, we got to go on a 20-minute adventure. Let's go. <laughs> so uh, you and Minerva clink wine glasses. Clink. Uh, and nurse looks in. <laughs> she takes the bow uh, and leaves and then uh, later that day of course you know like you get out of the hospital you get dressed you get sent out uh, eventually a duffel bag full of money makes it over to you now first things first uh, I want you to mark attention to the Olympus crime family theme uh, with the identity nice. of the Olympus crime family wants to keep me close you're uh, building up your relationship with Minerva here mm-hmm. uh, and also one two three four five six here is money, please. <laughs> money, please. Eight loot. Damn! I have never done anything wrong in my entire life. I know. So, money, money, please. Correct. I'll leave this thought with yeah, you. Yeah, damn the stack. Yeah, uh, that's a trust fund stack, right? There. <laughs> you can decide how that gets split up. Mm-hmm. Anyway, uh, oh. or if you want to. Yeah, or if you even want to. We don't know uh, about that money. Yeah. Yep. yeah, we don't know about that shit. And as uh, that thought is going through Corey's mind and Donnie is just driving her around at this point, I guess. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> driving this Daisy. <laughs> is he still a construction worker? No. No, oh, he, no. no he lost his job yeah. after you yeah, guys destroyed yeah. the site. It's hard to construct <laughs> when there's one site. He has, uh, whatever. Well, we also just He's stole not, him. He's been gone for him. days. They're they're not gonna this is technically they're kidnapping. Still, they're just looking for him. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think after the, like, the third day of being absent with no call, they, they automatically fire you. So, you know. Yeah. Okay. Also or, the, or, or he's considered dead. And we have all. Listen, yeah. don't look too much in the Donnie situation, all right? Just <laughs> he's here to help. Don't the big like bad to bad ask guy a lot of questions <laughs> unless they're a favor. That's exactly why he doesn't want us to look into him too deeply. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what was that? A Capri Sun commercial. Surface. <laughs> <laughs> right here. Hide <Tied> there. <laughs> Sorry. Capri Bun. <laughs> Capri Bun. Capri Bun. It's I it. think my hat at the mic. I'm oh, sorry. It's but it's red in a pouch. <laughs> Look, they should know we're very fucking. Come on. <laughs> Transition noise. <laughs> Jeremy uh, back there, like, fuck, is this what Chris got to go through? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you, Jeremy. Um, yes, it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh, do tell. Damn. Uh, gossip. Uh, anyway. Ooh. Logan. Yes. You are standing 
on the surface of the moon. Oh yeah, that's where it was. All of Earth a backdrop. <laughs> <laughs> All of Earth a backdrop to this meeting. You've also looked down at yourself and your body, you are three inches taller. Your body is wider. You're more tan and like muscular. You're wearing these like rough leather, like blacksmith clothes. He's been yassified. I can go on the ride to Universal now. <laughs> oh my God. Sorry, Kevin, please, please do go. <laughs> Um, but no, you, you are. To interrupt Kevin as well. You're fine. Your 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 face is still roughly the same. Your beard is like out and more scraggly, and that's kind of just what yeah. you see as you're like examining yourself. But you you have this like appearance that feels right, and you're standing there in front of this woman who's in these like regal clothes. Uh, she has this right. like. Yeah, like a large flowing feather robe that almost kind of makes you think of Kore a bit. Um, she has this like pale white skin, like pale as the moon she stands on. Uh, uh, it's very reflective. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, black hair tied up into a bun. Uh, yeah. I can pull up my gun. Yeah. <laughs> and she almost like she has this like glow about her. Um, like. But yes, but uh, this this princess uh, looking woman uh, looks at you and goes, Dwarf, you must believe yourself as far as you could possibly be from your underground home. But do not fret. This is merely an enclave of my design, a painting in our minds. I know I am not truly at my home, though for what reason I do not know why. Can you tell me why that is, brave dwarf? So, I mean, I was listening to her, but I'm like, my scientific mind mm -hmm. immediately starts testing stuff like gravity, I'm throwing rocks up and down. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <clears throat> I gotta practice this voice more. Um, but if I gotta just do it. Um, as I look up to her, how tall, like, is she on a hill, or, like, is she just floating next to me? What's she? She's standing, like, a few feet away from you, and, like, her robe covers her feet, but she has this presence, like, she's, like, floating. Uh, okay. Um, but, uh, God. yeah. <laughs> Other, otherwise, she still, like, definitely have a few feet on you. Got it, okay. Yeah. Well. <clears throat> as I look around, I, I, I uh. I'm not like completely impressed because she just described this as a painting, some sort of illusion and stuff like that. It's like, I must say you do very nice work. But in all honesty and proper etiquette, before you ask anybody anything, you must introduce yourself first. Mm -hmm. And my name is not Dwarf. It is Mr. Logan Herrera. And who might you be? There's a moment as you say that name, like, you know, you say Mr. Logan Herrero, and, like, as you kind of go over, like, Herrero, not only does it, like, kind of, like, feel weird coming out of your mouth, oh, yeah. but also it's, like, it kind of gets, like, muddled as if, like, you're trying to do something in a dream. Mm. Um, and she looks at you and goes, I suppose you are correct. Well, Inquisitive Logan... My name is Kaguya Hime. That's right. I am the princess of this moon. Long ago, I was brought to Earth. And from what I was told, I had a life. And I even fell in love. And then I returned here. But now, I can feel it. I am back on the surface of your Earth as if taken from my home. And she looks back at the earth floating in space and she goes, but there is such a great distance between my home and where I'm at now. Mm. She looks at you. So I ask again, why is that, Inquisitive Logan? As I turn around, I, I've never been to space, so I just take a, a just a quick like a couple beats to just look at how beautiful the Earth is and be like, God damn, that's thick. <laughs> wow. Um, the Earth looking I, I don't say that right I say now. That, now I'm realizing, all right, I'm in front of like some royalty and just hurry up and pull it up. I'm like, I'm gonna 
watch my manners. Yeah, yeah. she. Uh, this, this woman exudes royalty. <laughs> well, your highness, I guess I should call you that. <clears throat> your guess is as good as mine. All I know is that I was in my underground lab, as you specifically said it, and I was studying some sort of rocks, and I look around. Did some of the rocks around me look like the rocks? Yeah, they look like moon rocks. Okay. I mean, they don't look like the exact rocks, yeah, right, right. Uh, but yeah, it's like <laughs> you look around, there's some rocks around, and it's like, oh, hey, these look like moon okay. rocks. I grab one, and I'm like, they really would like this one. <laughs> Obviously, it's all an image, but mm-hmm. I, mean, I don't even think it. I'm like, he would like this. Hmm. Um, <laughs> Apparently, from my research, that these rocks, and given that I touched one, might belong to you. But let me ask you something. Are you aware of any sort of items in your possession that could connect you to other things? (sighs) I unfortunately do not have items to connect, but I do have one that helped me leave your planet long ago. And she kind of like holds up the feathered robe that she has and goes, as they told me, I had a full life on your planet. And when my escorts called me to come back and fulfill my role in destiny, I knew I would feel great pain from leaving. And so they gave me this robe to put on and my memories of my time on the planet faded away so I could return to my destiny. Which is what? (laughs) She holds her arms out and behind you, you feel this like wind building up and you turn around and you see the largest, most exquisite palace you have ever seen Uh. on the moon. (laughs) What? And she goes, this is my domain. Can Leland see that from from his home? No. What, What Leland is seeing is Logan touched one of the rocks and now he's not moving. He's just standing and oh, staring saying, at the rocks. I'm just staring at him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, he's going to come back eventually. <laughs> yeah. He, he, Logan's also got a slight glow about him now. Well, he's, he's evolving like a Pokemon, right? Yeah. He's like, well, <laughs> that's what I remember from last Logan, time. Logan, well, evolves <laughs> too. <laughs> I mean, hey, we, it, here's features. the thing. Leland, Leland is like, doesn't know what's going to happen. But right now what's happening is Logan yeah. grabbed a rock. Yeah. He stopped moving. He's glowing slightly. And it's like... You guys were specific. Are you just, are, is he just standing there like that? Like, he's just laying on the floor with a rock in his hand? Like that? Yeah, kind it of. It sounds to me <laughs> like he grabbed it, started to glow, and he's evolving from a little person Pokemon to a dwarf Pokemon. <laughs> like a medieval dwarf Pokemon. I reached level 36. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can he evolve? <laughs> we, we need to get some uh, sensitivity readers no, here. No, I said for, the right <laughs> thing. No, 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 I was correct. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Anyway, so, uh, that, so, so yeah, so Leland, you're just kind of, like, this This is not the first time, though, that Logan right. has done something and you're just waiting on to see the scientific reaction as he puts it. I want to say, uh, like, does he touch me and he just pops into the thing and he's like, where am I? Oops, sorry. <laughs> Do you? No. Okay. I, just, I, I get a little stool that's like too big for me and I just kind of sit there just, I guess, I'm just watching you just like, okay, I want to see what happens. Yeah, I think this is like the perfect moment for like Sindri to I also to pull up the Sindri's stool. I was like, oh, again. Yeah, and as, it's like, hey, you want to watch to see if my brother dies? Yeah, sure. Here's some gummy bears. Oh. She has just like a bowl of gummy bears and I she's just it. like, yeah. <laughs> you're just sitting there just like. Oh. I, 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 just a quick... Yeah, <laughs> there's like a bit twitch, and then like Sindri like looks at me and goes, "So, where do you work out?" Uh, back to the illusion. Yes. Um, yes. So yeah, the palace. Yes, the palace. Uh, you see this large palace, and she goes, "Do you want me to come in?" Yeah, it's up to yeah. you. One must roll it. rule this go place. I'm gonna roll Jeez. it. Oh, Yo, you're gonna roll for the the character mode. Okay. I just, I, if, I go, if, I, if I'm above, I just gotta roll. If it's if it's a if it's like odd or even. Yeah, if it's odd. I'll go in. If it's even, I'll stay out. Okay. Oh, it's So he touches. So uh, just keep going. Just keep going. Okay, cool, I'll, cool, I'll cool. tell you when I come in. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, but yeah, you see this I palace appear before you out of moon dust. Uh, and then you turn back to her and she goes, 
It is my destiny. I needed to cast off what was holding me back. And I can offer the same to you, if you wish. Even in the short conversation that we've had, I can tell short. you are a man who is at odds with his own destiny. <laughs> and and, he, and uh, Logan just starts like, very slightly, like just laughing to himself. Well, um, <laughs> first of all, uh, is your destiny real estate? You haven't really answered my question. <laughs> you have a very big fancy thing. Well, look, I'm a scientist. I need straight up answers. <laughs> what is your destiny? To preside over the moon. Oh, so you're its caretaker. It's princess. <laughs> and I, I look at Kelly and says, Okay, screw it. We're, we're going to move past that. Okay. You know, it's a very tempting offer, but um, I'm guessing you you said you had a family, a partner or something like that? They told me I had someone who I formed a relationship with, yes. Mm -hmm. No, it is true that um, relationships can be a little strenuous at times, but uh, <laughs> I'm fine keeping my problems. I mean, after all, they're my family. It's the whole reason why I'm even here in the first place. Yeah, duty is necessary, and as a man of science, I understand that the way to do what you gotta do is important, but if you're doing it because somebody told you to, then are you really living your life, or are you living someone else's? Rest assured, the choice to put on this robe and cast off my worldly desires was entirely my own. Okay. That's fine. This is mine. So, thank you for the kind offer. Because <laughs> he, he still can't get a read on her. Um, but to, answer, to, to literally answer your question is, I'm guessing that these rocks emit some sort of energy, some sort of, I hate to say this as a scientist, lunar magic. Um, because the second I grabbed onto one of them, I appeared. I mean, it... it I mean, no one's stupid enough to just grab it like I did. Come back to the lab. <laughs> I'm standing over him now, like, kind of touching his head with my foot. Sentry's, like, looking at you. He's like, are you sure you want to get that close to him? Yeah, what's the worst that could happen? And I, do I have to touch the rock or can I just touch him? Uh, I mean, you tell me. I'm going to touch him on the forehead real quick with my bare hand. Yeah. I'm going to go like this. like. You touch him on the forehead real quick, and there's this, like, kind of, like, moment where you, like, kind of see a vision with each yeah. poke it's it's almost like with e it's I'm like, like you're touching like, like you're touching the most <laughs> it's like you're touching the most staticky tv each day <laughs> trying to find a good reception yeah you yeah, twist my mean? ear move my head pop it yeah. smack it yeah. poke it so i just kind of look i'm like yeah, what the hell but i go to the other rock I'm going to okay. touch one of the other rocks. Okay. And I grab it. You touch one of the other rocks, suddenly you start jerking, glowing. Sindri is just watching all this happen and goes, oh, no. I'm going to get the fire extinguisher. <laughs> uh, and uh, right as you say that, uh, Logan, sorry, Leland just appears on the he moon. Just pops in. No. Like with that sound. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Oh. Cool. I'm just there. looking around. Uh, it's just like, where am I? Uh, you're looking around. You don't have your coat or your right. wife beater or even your hat. He's like, what do you look like? You, Man, have this, look like? you have this like large, like single shoulder pad, uh, but oh, also, like, oh, the and, and, like, yeah, and like this like toga? leather skirt. But yeah, you got this like leather skirt and like large single shoulder pad, Ooh. but also you've got this like huge robe of lion fur oh, over nice. your like back Ooh. as well. Like a fucking like cape made out of lion hide. You're like the rock. Uh, yeah. The yeah, lore exactly. skin. So I just kind of stand like, oh, mighty warrior, you also come into my domain. Hi. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, Hi. It's like, hello, Leland. I see you got curious about the rocks, too. I did, yeah. Uh, what is your name? Leland. This is my friend, Leland. I am Princess Kaguya Hime. She runs a real estate business up here on the moon. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, from what you've said, Inquisitive Logan, I am not on the moon. My essence is within these rocks. 
quite literally, you may hold my fate in your hands. So, um, are you like, how many rocks are there? There's six. Uh, six or seven? Well, uh, actually, I need to say that there's five. I said six uh, in one episode, and in an earlier episode, I said five. It's five. We're making it canon. Anyway, five okay. rocks. Wow. Six it is. So I'm holding <laughs> I, five rocks. Is that, it's five rocks. I was like, yeah, I, I five. grabbed one of the other ones. Oh, actually, since we're grabbing it, do we have the rock in our hand? Yeah. In oh, the real world, yeah. Oh, no, no, like yeah. in the spirit world. No. Okay, we, we, we're... Yeah. Nothing. So, okay, like, okay. while you're talking to them, like, I'm going to go for a walk. I <laughs> just start walking. <laughs> you just start... <laughs> we... <laughs> oh, yeah, it, it, do it, I have like the it, it's, it's moon gravity? <laughs> oh, yeah. yes, yes, we're like, pretty much on the moon, but we could breathe. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I was like, oh, yeah, I'm gonna do that. I was like, <laughs> and, and as I watch him, <laughs> don't not worry, he'll be fine. He I, do like, I do like, like little, little cannon, <laughs> like a little, like little ball just floating. <laughs> He's like, do not worry about him. One of the leaves, though, you keep floating. <laughs> we, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a starfish. Uh. Don't worry, Lele will be fine. But uh. why is your <laughs> is your like <laughs> just a little okay. pop? No, 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 no. Okay. I'm, no. I'm trying to think of something funny. Okay, okay, I'm trying to think of something funny. Okay, okay, okay. No, no, this is great. Um, I'm trying to think of something funny. Uh, he's like, so um, is is are these just like the. Are uh, these like the the the, uh, the famous anime you got on Earth, uh, Magnet Ball X, where we have to uh, collect all the balls and then you appear, or are you all like in separate pieces? Do I have I no idea roll? what you're talking about. Your well, words five, are strange. There's five and alien. of your rocks down on Earth. Are you doing Dragon Ball? Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because I couldn't say Dragon <laughs> Ball Z. So I said Magnet Ball you X. You said it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, like, do you know, is that how it works? Do we have to have you all together in one place? Or can I just grab one rock? Are you aware? Did you ever split your power into pieces? I need, I need to form a, hypo- a hypothesis right now. Right? There, this is weird. There, there's like a moment where she kind of like looks into herself and then goes, I feel <laughs> yep. my presence spread between these five stones. Mm. And I fear what would happen if my presence was split Inquisitive Logan, brave Leland. I'm so, uh, oh, wait, why you say that? I'm like, I'm still floating, and I bump into the cow. Like, oh, <laughs> like, a little bump off of it. Yeah, yeah. There's just one moment where you're I'm just a kind child. of floating, and you're like, uh, uh, uh. Um, goes right. <laughs> what I do is I take off like the toga, I wrap it, and I just like fling it. So you got I was gonna down. do a little like clap. To oh, come oh back. so like, yeah. Okay. I do not know the true meaning if one of the rocks my essence was stored inside was split off from the others, mm-hmm. but perhaps we can still aid each other. I would like to go back home at some point. And if you... Oh, I see what you're doing, Kevin. <laughs> ...can bring me back. I would be willing to assist in that journey. We have to fuse him? No, he's trying to split three different decisions. Mm. So, basically, oh, you guys... <laughs> uh, I, do, I do my out-of-character uh, uh, master ceremonies son voice. Of a bitch. Here's the deal now. So the bow has been sold, and you guys... Well, Corey has the big payday from that. It's up to her whether she wants to share it. You but get powerful money? <laughs> Marty, the moon rocks, uh, you can... Uh, sell them over to the agent, but Logan and Leland, you two have just found out that not only is there a sentient presence in these rocks, but also she's willing to help you guys out if you help her out. Like, help us out in what way exactly? Did that go well, over my head? It's uh, a card. In the extra theme way. Real I'll, I'll just say that. Oh. <laughs> we get to have the goddess of the moon. Fuck money. But we got Donnie. <laughs> 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 we got <laughs> so wait, yo, that's a hard bargain, though. No? <laughs> so wait, well, it's just like, it's like, so we just gotta find a way to bring you together, or send you to your home. Where is your home? If you, I don't know what you lost all your memories. She holds out her hands, and moon dust just kind of uh, is brought up from the ground <laughs> and forms and she- the. Topography of China? No, it's more just <laughs> say, like, <laughs> China. It's more of just like a dramatic wave of the hands as space wind uh, brings up the dust, and she goes, "This is my home." As she gestures to the moon. So you want us to send you to the moon? What if I throw the rocks to the moon? 
You know what? That is possible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If he rolls, it's to throw the dude. I'm, 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 I'm going to tell you right now. That would be a stop holding back, but it is in the realm of possibility. You know how much I can buff strength. this man? Yeah. You know how and much I, I have can buff this man? <laughs> <laughs> like, we can solve this mission in one throw. Yeah. <laughs> oh I, I do the Babe Ruth. I just do that. <laughs> you have to stop holding back for each rock. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Six rolls. No, he right. crushes them into one rock. Well, I was going to say, like, what if we like grinded her down? Oh my gosh. <laughs> like well, cement and cement into one. It is, yeah. Well, uh, the essence is still in there. So uh, the princess turns toward the both of you and goes, I can offer you some of my powers, but the most I can offer, and she holds out the robe, is the ability to make you forget the thing, the worldly materials that hold you back. But as royalty of the moon, I request of you, please help me go back home. I'll get the grinder. <laughs> <laughs> and all I hear is, Return the slab. <laughs> and with that, you all uh, have some information uh, now that you've given out some conversations that need to be had. And now you guys need to uh, come up with some uh, decisions of your own. Wait, Maybe how do talk we get, to each other. How do we get out of the days? We're probably going to get bad in the next episode. Yeah, actually. And uh, Princess Chang Yi goes, I will give you all time to think. But in that time, I'm willing to offer my help. And with that, she holds out her hand. Moon dust uh, brings up until it's like a storm. You guys can't see anything before. <laughs> Wait, before he does, it's like, oh, no, no, I want to do it one more time. <laughs> <laughs> one you, more ball. <laughs> you go into a cannonball. You're floating in the suddenly You're back in your uh, reality. And both of you feel so much heavier now. <laughs> oh, and I found I landed on him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm on top of you. <laughs> You're all like, you know, <laughs> Leland, get off. <laughs> get off. And uh, as you guys get up, uh, one of you is still holding a moon rock, and it is still glowing slightly. And as it does, what? make sure I got the right one. Yep. You guys get an extra theme. <gasps> Yay. To say? Moon Bravo, moon rocks. How can oh. Kaguya return home? Spirit attack. Spirit of Kaguya. He may. Uh, blinding moonlight, not of this Ooh. world. Weakness tags, blinded by beauty. Oh. It's oh, a well, flashbang. Well, I gotta right. steer clear. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, my gosh. Uh, <laughs> which, which I oh yes, hand me that, that back. back. So I gave good. you the loot for that. Mm -hmm. And with that, uh, that is where we're going to end the session. <laughs> uh, <laughs> next time, you guys have some important conversations and more decisions to we make while also weapons. planning <laughs> for uh, this next incredibly strange mission. The only kind of mission here on Rolling in the Mist. Thank you all for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs>